German pressure towards the Benelux. We could have the Netherlands and Belgium going to war, which will be good, actually, because that gives the United Kingdom a chance to come into Europe, hopefully. So we have to just hope for that. Italy, what are you doing? Jet ending still. Okay. How's it going over here? So are you fighting them? Did they join the war? They have not joined the war. They are an Axis power, but they've not joined the war. Ugh. Okay. Okay. We're doing we're holding on. It's fine. Now that the Soviets are here. I keep saying this, but we're fine. We're gonna hold on. Just keep fighting until the end, guys. Go, go, go. Um, who's the guy up here? It's this one, isn't it? Just force your attack. Force them down. You gotta win it. Now the Soviets here. You got reinforcements. Use the charisma and morale to push yourselves. Go, my men! Two divisions, Netherlands promised, have arrived. Great. Uh, we've got new rifles. More infantry equipment. Thank you very much, everyone who wants to support me. And chat, thank you for being... Sorry, I've not done much with the War Council so far, because we've got this war going on. <laughs> Normally, I talk to you guys a lot more and read your stuff, but right now, this is a full-blown war. I didn't want this to happen. <laughs> I was hoping we could try to avoid war with Germany and then take these guys, but that did not happen at all, did it? They pushed us back over here. Why is there a gap? Why is there a stupid gap, as usual? Um, sir? Get that gap fixed. Because they're going to push you down. Okay, so get that done. Um, you've only got 16 divisions on this. There's 24 divisions on the whole thing. Uh, make sure everyone's involved. There we go. 24 divisions are now involved. But once we defeat this, 24, 24 more divisions will come down. Network area. If you are having uh, internet problems, guys, um, if you are having internet problems, just make sure you refresh. There are a, It's a bit unstable today. It's not the most stable, so it might depend on your internet. But yeah, just refresh. You'll be fine. Um, weird things like that happen. Um, Imsully27. Thank you so much. Sorry, I'm a bit <laughs> preoccupied. Research. Nuclear. Let's get rockets. Not today. Okay, we're winning all around here. I'm kind of concentrating on this. I'm just hoping the Soviets can hold on the rest of the, the place. That's it. Go, my men. What are you doing, little tank? Little tank. What are you doing? Go help. Yeah, that's it. The little tank that could. Polish stuff. Okay, we need political power. That's what we need. We need to get more stuff. Uh, I need political power. That will not help. That will not help at all. Building ships and air bases, that's not going to help. The four year plan, none of that's going to help, really, is it? Yeah, research slot could be good, though. Uh, anti tank guns, army modernization, none of these, it's all research stuff. It's kind of boring. The Polish one needs a bit of an update, you know, after the new ones. Uh, Legend Official TV, thank a uh, Legend of Official, no. Nope, Legend Official TV, sorry. Thank you so much for following. Welcome aboard. I guess we'll just go for more buildings, I guess, yeah. Let's go for the four-year plan, then. Let's get more buildings. A four-year plan while we're at war. Great. Uh, just... Guys, my, my war council. This better have been the right decision. Going communist better have been the right decision. We could have joined Hitler. This Jesus guy is clearly just copied from Tolkien. Quit India movement. Indian... Calls for independence have intensified lately. Now things have come to a head as the radical Quit India movement has called for the United Kingdom to leave the country as soon as possible. British authorities were quick to react, however, and have cracked down on the movement. Well, there we go. Another attempt at freedom. Ah, yeah, apologies. Apologies. Just to know Pretik would be proud. Well, I'm glad to know Pretik would be proud. Sadly, he's not here. Captain Weeb, thank you so much. I came back to you being a filthy communist. I'm profoundly sad, my friend. Insert sad music. Is that sad? Well, I guess that's not really sad, is it? I don't know. Okay, so the Soviets are pushing down here. Thank you, Soviets. Thank you. They're taking the easy route. Warsaw is still okay, but for how much longer? That just men everywhere. I don't know how to comprehend this right now. It's too much. It's too much. Help there. They're actually doing quite well there. Now, I, they say they're not winning, but they're killing lots of men, which is good. Killing men is good. Killing Germans is good, apparently, um, in, this, in, this, in this particular situation. Okay, it's going well over there. We might have to change your war. 
Once you've crushed this gap, we can change your goal to kind of just take him back Romania and then defeat in Yugoslavia and we can come up this way. That would be great. Trentog, thank you for following. Welcome aboard our merry band of men. Another broad bronze to add to our collection. We'll get this. That'll be perfect. We get that. That's all done. 18 political power. We need a lot more right now. Finish it off. Just finish it off. Send every man, woman, and child into this place. Send every single one. I don't care. There we go. And then just push back. They're, they've got Konensburg there. Go take this one. Go take that place. Now. Go, go, go. Everyone, go. They are weakened. They are slow. They have no strength. They have no men power. They have no will to fight. It's our time. It's the communists' time. The people will rise up. Poland is here to push the fight. We defended ourselves and the Soviet Union came in to help us. Thank you so much, Stalin. See? He's all about the people. Let's get these back. There we go. Let's get what we need back. We need more of this. Soviet Union. Okay, you can't help. <laughs> we, got, we got some steel, though. There we go. This is all done. Perfect. <laughs> it's all done. Send more men into attack. All men. All men. All men must die. All men must kill. Here we go. The British are here as well. Okay, everyone just go that way. Take out this one. That's it. Then it's all done. Then we can send 24 regiments along here to help out on this border. <sighs> I don't have a clue about what we are doing, says Louis. <laughs> but I'm a loyal vassal. Thank you, Louis. Uh, basically, we're just trying to hold off the Germans and hopefully try and make a counterattack when we can. I just want to hold them off on this side. Just protect Warsaw. And on this side, we want to kind of push through. Ooh, look at... <laughs> What is this? Why did it change like that? Well, we got this. Yes, we've cut them off. There we go. Okay, let's what sort you out. Now, delete this. This is just silly. This is just silly. Um, I'm going to have to delete this. You're going to concentrate on this border, okay? You're going to concentrate on this. So we're going to get everyone here. I accidentally deleted it. <laughs> okay. Uh, front. I hate that because sometimes you need to click off it. Okay, front line. You got this whole front line with the Soviet Union. You go for this. Wait, is it going over here? No, it's not. It's not. Okay, front uh, offensive line then. We'll go straight for Yugoslavia. So go to the Yugoslavian border. Push to there. That's what we want to see. 24 divisions, good. We should build a win on this side with the Soviet Union here. Is Hungary not on our... No, Hungary has just decided to stay out of all the wars. They're on no one's side, so yeah. Um, these... Who was it? You. You need to change where your line is. You have to defend the whole thing now. I apologize, but that's just the way it is. Hopefully the Soviets can help you out. And these guys will be here to help you out. Once they're done, they'll come to help you as well. But let's activate this guy. Let's go. Okay. So these guys are almost done, though. Do you hear the people sing, singing the songs of angry men? Is the music of the people who will not be slaves again? Were beaten or... I don't know. I can't read the rest. <laughs> there we go. I sang a bit. There you go, guys. And here we go. And we're not at war with the Allies. We just have to defeat the Axis. Um, NG, you have a gap in the south. Where? Where? Do you mean this? This is just hungry. Um, Hungary is not at war with anyone, so we don't have to do that. It's fine. Looks like we're fine all along the borders. And in... F nope, that's one place. We could do a counter-attack there. I'd love to do a counter-attack at some point, but... They haven't got many men, actually. Look. There's not many divisions. I say attack. I say go for it. Attack. I'm changing my mind. Let's attack. Let's do a counter-attack. They don't have many men there now. And now this guy is done. Look at that. It's all done. This is my land. My land, Germany. You wanted Danzig? Well, I took everything. And next, we'll go to support this. We're going to support that. I hope the border goes down here. Yes, it does. Okay, then you will do an offensive line. He's going to Berlin. How about you go down south then? Yeah, how about you go to Vienna? 
Like, you come up this way to meet up here, yeah. Let's go like that. There we go. I'm going to activate you as well. We're going for full-on assault, guys. Go suck an egg, Hitler. Yeah, Hitler. We're going to go for full-on assault now. The Polish and Soviets will push on. We'll push on. I'm going to keep an eye on stuff. Okay, let's just get in and see what's happening. Yeah, we're push there we go. See, look, it's successful. As long as Warsaw survives, we should be okay. Warsaw is safe for now. There's a lot of men around here, but we're pushing them back. Good, good, good. Okay. Over here, not... They probably, I think they brought more men around here now because they saw the threat of the Soviets. But look at the Soviet Union. They almost got to Bucharest. We'll save Romania. Romania will be saved. And they can join the common turn as well. Together we can fight. Okay. And as the men pour in, we're going to get more support here. It's hard to... Because there's so many men on each side, it's hard to really calculate where to do a counterattack. Like, manually. I like to do manual counterattacks, but... It, it, in this sort of situation, it's very hard to tell. NG is winning by the skin of his teeth. Yeah, we're actually winning. Which is lovely, but I mean, it's all thanks to Stalin. You have to... I, I'm not going to take, you know... I mean, we did decide to go with the common term in the first place, so... You know, I guess that was the plan in the first place. So I can't, you know, it was the strategy. So our strategy has worked just. We just became communists and joined them just in time to save ourselves. And taking that really helped because now they can't attack us from here. And now we can reinforce this border. I think that was the strategy to go with. And here we go. We've actually pushing them back. Take this, Hitler. We are coming to Ber We're coming for you, Hitler. We're coming to Berlin. Thank you, war, war Council. It looks as though your advice was correct. The Soviet people, not so. That's a good point. The Soviet people are the ones dying on the battlefield. They've sacrificed their lives to help the Polish. Who would have thought? Um, can you go cut... No, oh, that's the Soviet guys. I want you to cut them off. Okay, when you get there, go cut them off. That one man's on his own. Just go... No, there's another man there. Quickly, quickly. Go, go, go. God, what a mess. Okay, we can't cut them off, but we could attack there. Look, come on. Are you there yet? There, attack. Look how weak he is. Cut this guy off. We kill one regiment. Look at this. The Germans had no chance. Hitler could not stand the wrath of communists and the people. The people asked for this. This is what we wanted. The people have risen up. This is what he always feared, isn't it? And uh, here we've got allies up here. United Kingdom. Yep, it's going well. The Allies aren't even involved. It's just us. It's just us and Stalin fighting off everyone. We've gained factories. We need more and more guns. Definitely more guns. A lot more guns. More and more guns. Okay, we're building more men, but we're not really getting any of these days because we don't have the stuff. But there we go. We can get that now. Soviet Union, you're giving me the oil. That's all we needed. Perfect. Okay, so we should have the oil now. That's good to see. We'll do research. Um, artillery? Still 1939. Hmm, what to go with? The UK troops are in your lands? Yeah, I did notice. And we're getting more experience, so we could update our troops at some point with military police. That might be something we have to do. Yeah, I think we're going to add military police to our group. Um, conversion speed? No, we won't do that. If we do construction speed, let's go for this one. I, li I like to get that out because you are just building lots of stuff. How about we look at our men? Let's add in some military police. Just in case. Because things are going to get, you know, as we conquer more lands, I have no idea what we're going to do. For pre we haven't really fought this far ahead, did we? We didn't really expect things to go like this, did we, War Council? Douglas, thank you so much for following. We didn't really think this far ahead. So, yeah. Anti-tank or anti-air? But we're going to have to build all that to add to all these men. It's way too many. Um, yeah, let's, just, let's keep it to this. Let's keep it simple. We'll keep it simple for now. We've got our tanks. We've got our men. Let's just keep it like this. Yeah. Okay. Let's just do that. And that's going to cost a lot. We're going to start making a lot more equipment, aren't we? Yeah. So how about we push this down one. Make one more there. Uh, do we need planes? Who needs... Uh, we, need, we need planes. We need planes. Let's go... Let's put that there. There we go. 
Uh, Anti-Tank probably is the mastermind. Uh, was talking about that oil for some time. There was not much oil in the Europe trade or build synthetic. Yeah, I know. There, there was a lot of things about the oil. I was just trying to wait till we could. Raider Scrolls, thank you so much for joining us. A lot of followers today. Thank you all for joining. Welcome to our band of merry men, where we uh, play a lot of paradox games, usually. Not always, but that tends to be the things we play. Tomorrow will actually be Surviving Mars, so that's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to that. That'll be fun, I think, as a council stream. Look at this. We're winning on all sides. Hitler, we're coming for you. Berlin will be mine. We're, we're going to crush them, hopefully, in between us. That's it. Yeah, tank. Just go, go, go. Just go straight for this. Just go straight in. Take it all. Crush these guys between us. Trap them here in Romania. This will teach you guys for... This will teach you German for taking Romania. Romania was our friend. They gave us a treaty where we would defend each other. So we're here to pay them back. See, everything comes... Everything's come full circle now, guys. Our tank will make it through. Look at that. Come on, come on. Just crush them. Crush them. Uh, Public TV, thank you so much for following. We've got a lot of men crushed between us now. We just need to close up the barrier. We've got a lot of... these Italians or Mexicans? These are Italians. Okay, so a lot of Italians are starting to come to attack, though. So we could be in trouble just there. If we can just break through and bring it together, that'd be great. Okay. All looking fine. They've still got men joining up. Uh, we don't have many more men coming in. They need to be trained up. Uh, we got that guy there protecting Warsaw. He'll get all the extra men that we get. The Poles remember, apparently. And there we go. They are crushed. These men are trapped. They have an air base, though, for now. They might be able to hold on, but it's a matter of time before they're crushed beneath our feet. And then we got to take care of Italy. we got to also take care of France as well. Vichy France and Yugoslavia. There's a lot to do here, guys. But taking care of Hitler will be a great step. Zeladon 2000, thank you so much. Yeah, I think we made the right choice, guys. We made the right choice in joining the communists. Because we're not at war with the allies. Only the Axis. And we're defeating the Axis pretty well. The communists in Japan still can't win. Have they made peace? No, they're still at war. They've been at war for years, and they can't take Tokyo. Apparently, same with Communist China. Communist China and China are at a deadlock right now, while we are just in this massive war. This is what I call a world war, then. This is, I think this is when they attacked Poland. This is when the world war started. The Polish People's Republic. Look at that. Lovely name. Things have gone very nicely for us. Though they are, they are holding us back here. Yeah, we need to be careful. This this could go again. If they can kind of break out, we would be in a little bit of trouble, of course, because they'd be able to break through. Prague and Berlin are in our sights. Look, at, look how close Berlin is. Look at him go. Our men, not this one. Actually, let's go for this guy. How about you do a force attack? Just push through, push on through. Force the attack. Force them back. Any chance of an XCOM series? Mm, not right now. I XCOM 2 I know is better than XCOM 1, but I just don't like the actual situation. I preferred it like with the invaders rather than you being like a rebel group um, against the aliens. So I wasn't that fond of the situation in XCOM 2, so that kind of put me off XCOM 2. So I'm not sure. You never know. You never know. I'll never say never, but it's fine. I went away for a break. When I came back, we would be dead, but should we should have never doubted communism. Yep, you should never have doubted it. It worked out perfectly. Actually, we broke through a little bit there. Can we crush these guys between us? Down south's going well as well. Good job, everyone. Okay, they're slowly being beaten down. We've almost got this. Then Yugoslavia can be taken care of next. What's this? Did they survive? Nope, the Yugoslavian Confederates are still alive. The fall of Berlin. There you go. Desperately fighting. Desperate fighting has been reported from Berlin, the capital of Germany. But it is now believed that the city is completely in Polish hands. After advancing along the Frankfurter Alley, the Poles reached the Alexanderplatz, which was the scene of a pitch battle. Lovely to see that we captured it. That's good to see. Great to know. Elsewhere in the city, the Brandenburg Gate collapsed, supposedly after being rammed by a Polish tank. 
and the, Kro the Kroll Opera House was levied by the artillery barrage after its stubborn SS defenders refused to surrender. The red and white flag of the Poland has now flies above the Reichstag, and the last pocket of resistance has been dealt with. There we go. See, that's what you get, Hitler, for attacking, for claiming Danzig. For claiming Danzig, how dare you do such a thing? This is our time. Our time. War propaganda against them. I don't think we need that. We've got a lot of war support right now, 100%. What's Hitler's one like? 52. It's gone up from where it was before, but... Yeah. Yugoslavia, 65. they got pretty good war support, but we got 100. Everyone in Poland stands for this fight. They know this is for the people. But now Berlin's fallen. How long will it take till we can beat them back? Uh, you do this... Uh, wow, a lot of factories from Berlin, I guess. Look at that. Lovely, lovely jubbly. There we go. We've got lots of production going. This could be the turning point. This is when Poland becomes a world power. What is actually the situation in the war? Let's have a quick look. Um, we've lost 275,000 men. Our manpower is now up to 200,000. That's great. So 275,000. Germany has lost 1.4 million men. 300,000 to the United Kingdom, 200 to the Soviet Union, 192 by us. That's not, that's not too bad, you know. We lost more to them, but still, we've done a good job. Soviet Union's lost more men than we have right now, actually, which is a surprise. Hmm. And Germany. Ooh, look at that. They got a big hit when they lost Berlin. But there we go. Join the, the, the second army, the reinforcement army. Go join that. We've almost taken this all down. That's all done. Look at them cowering bef before the people of our new world. They cower before the might of the people. That's what this is. This has only been brought to you by the people. They're the ones who did this. Okay, we could break through up there. Okay, the Soviets are kind of leading the front here, mostly. Berlin has been left undefended. I don't... <laughs> Who did that? Who left Berlin under... Who did this? There you go. Good job. And there we go. Come on, let's, let's crush these guys between us. We've got one troop kind of cut off here. He's trying to escape. No! I can't control anyone. People are letting them escape? This is crazy. This is ridiculous. More guns. Uh, let's go for some more of this. Oh my god, we got even more stuff. We got, we're getting all the factories of... Uh, There we go. Okay, more factories for that. The mighty Sovi, I mean Poland. Pertic is smiling at us into the arms of a beautiful lady. Yes. I didn't think it would go this well at this point. I thought it would be a bit more of a struggle. But us and the Soviets were just too much. I, I think it's because the Soviets versus Germany would be a good battle. Um, you'd have to admit. When we saw the battle, it's a bit early for the Soviet Union. Uh, Big Town Daddy, thank you so much for following. Welcome to our band of bronze. But yes, it would have been a good fight between them at the time. It's a bit early for the Soviet Union. But with Poland, because we built up quite a bit, it was actually not good for them. Because us and them was a bit too much, I think. We need more guns. Look at this. We've, we've taken Prague. Munich, I guess, is next. We've almost got to where we wanted to get to. I have to leave. See you later, NG. Hey, see you, Duke Holiday. Thank you so much for joining. Welcome, and if you can, if you, you can check it all out on uh, YouTube afterwards, of course. 80 viewers, welcome everyone. Good to have everyone on board. Uh, what do we go for next? Civilian build. Inf let's go for infrastructure. Let's get the railroad done. So we can get troops to us quicker. Let's get more factories for the guns. Okay, low manpower. 200,000 is not that low. You know, we obviously want more, but it's not that low. National Spain has now joined the Axis. We've got to fight Nash of Spain as well. Franco, come on. Franco, why'd you do this to me? And we actually have quite a few divisions when you can think about it. We lost two divisions somewhere. Somewhere along the way, we've lost a couple of divisions, which is okay. Okay, all those men were killed over here, it looks like. We've got a lot of army experience these days. Wait for peace conference. Half of East Germany will be something. See you guys. Is a good idea to border Italy? Or would it be better to hold the line and only push in the north? That's a good point. I'm just going to say we're going to use the southern line to push into Italy from the south. And the northern line just going to go straight through. 
But then again, the line here would be bad. But then again, so is the mountains. Uh, we're going to have to push through. We'll try both, I think. We'll go through both. NG. Us use the German prisoners of war to build the railroad. Communist China's declared war on Shangxi. Communist China, weren't you at war with China? This seems like a bad idea to also declare war on Shangxi. The fall of Gibraltar. Gibraltar has fallen because Spain has joined the Axis. There we go. We're fighting basically the whole of Europe. All these fascists and dictators. We're facing them all down under the boot of the people. We're getting through now. We see Hungary. <laughs> Hungary's just sat on the borderline going, huh. Well, this is nice, you know. At least we're not dying. Same with Bulgaria. So Bulgaria and Hungary just, you know, not wanting to get involved. They're like, eh, we're fine. Switzerland, you know, Belgium and Netherlands never were attacked actually by Germany. I, I can see why, you know, the Germans can't handle us. Why would they also do that? Defeat this one man. We've got borders up there. Not going so great over here, but it should be fine. We've almost got to where we were pushing to. This side needs a bit more pushing. And we've almost got this one done. More factories. Okay, let's get more of these. Oh, there we go. Push it back. There we go. Done. Um, we are surrounded. Com, China. Great. We can attack in any direction. <laughs> yes. Okay, Um, let's actually start changing the forces ideas because... This uh, this push now is no longer needed. Yeah, we now a new push. Okay, for you then we need a new offensive line. You've pushed so far, we need to go to Frankfurt. And Munich. So just go down this line, I think. No divisions? Get them all divisions. 22 divisions, there we go. They're going to push along to there. This guy can continue attacking here. He has no divisions. Why? There you go. Put all 24 divisions down there. No wonder they're not been pushing very hard down there. And this guy... What? Did I actually... Oh, my, I actually didn't give him all divisions. Oh, my God. Oh, I accidentally gave this guy all the divisions, didn't I? Are you kidding me, game? I Sometimes I hate this game because it's so easy to make that sort of mistake. Okay, we have to... Uh... Okay, everyone up here. How much is this? Uh, how many divisions? How many have I selected? 15 selected. We need more. The line goes like here, maybe? 29, so that's too many. 27, so I guess I could do that, and then we can change it. Uh, let's go for this. Let's do this. Yeah, this is annoying. It is annoying when this sort of thing happens. I always hate this, because that can happen. Uh, Roman... Abraham, you got to sort it all out again. Ugh. I hate this game when that happens. Uh, we'll take away three divisions. Let's take away a couple of horses, maybe. Uh, put them into the other guy. Yeah. You can take a soldier, put him in this one. That's what I want to do. We will put him from this one into that one. Uh, I hate this game sometimes. Can be a bit figgy with like the kind of the rules. 23, 23. Okay, that's fine. I'm happy with that. Okay, now Roman. Roman, are your armies actually now put onto that thing? I would probably think not, which is now kind of worrying. 23, oh no, 23 divisions are attached to it. Now, this is yours, yes? 23 divisions all on that. Okay, now for this guy. Oh no, wait. No, he's that one. Yeah. He's the south one, yeah. Yep, he is. I was an idiot. Okay, I'm going to just start this all over again. <laughs> let's start this all over again. Okay, let's, do, let's get this out of the way. Okay, let's go with the offensive line. Three, three divisions. There's a line there. Okay, let's just start all over again. I'm just going to start all over. Delete it. Ugh. This game. You stop. Stop what you're doing. Just starting all over again. There we go. Okay, we're starting this all over again. <laughs> These guys are... Why, why can't I see? Okay. 
These guys are down south. Okay, front line. No, front line. Oh my god. This game is going to drive me crazy. This game is going to... Okay, there we go. Okay, now let's get this down a bit further south. Front line. Pull it down. Should we say about here? Just above Pro about Prague is. Yeah, we'll go for about there. Then we'll push them through. The offensive line. How about you guys go to Munich? Like, kind of Switzerland. I, I'm going to lose my mind at this point. It's so finicky sometimes. Okay, let's go for this. Um, go to the border down here so you can meet up with these guys, possibly. There we go. That one's now done. Great. Now the second one. Let's go up here. You go along here, and then we obviously we'll delete the one down here, which I guess is this one. And we'll push it to there. There we go. And then you can push forward along this line and go to Frankfurt. And the Maginot line. There we go. Oh my, it was, thank you. After the war ends and Stalin dies, call them to give you his finger bones and bury them in the Warsaw. <laughs> okay. Well, war, Stalin, the hero of, Stalin, the hero of Poland. Who would have thought? Who would have thought Stalin would be the savior of Poland? I, I don't know. We want to do this one down here, didn't we, as well? Because this one's kind of uh, almost done. Let's go for that. Let's give you guys a new front line. 16 divisions. You should have more divisions on there. I guess because they're up here in 8. Uh, offensive line. We're actually going to, I think, push all the way up here. Just push that way. Um, there you go. Done. So let's try and go for this then. Hopefully this works out. Um, we're getting close to Denmark nowadays. He's got a, a place he can just march through there. Our men are going to have to kind of move around right now. So you can see a lot of Polish men moving around, getting their situations back because I completely messed that up. Ugh. Sometimes I, like I say, sometimes I just hate the clicking around and the fiddly parts because you make one wrong click and it completely ruins it. Like you can't do an un... It would be nice if there was an undo button or something. I'd have thought Lenin would be. Well, I mean, Stalin's the leader right now and he's, he came in to help us in our hour of need. Luckily, we just became communist in time. That was a close one. It's very close. Now, our stability is not very good because of it. So it was kind of a risk. But here we go. They're pushing through into Yugoslavia. Everything's going to plan. Well, I think we'll just actually increase the speed because I'm not really that concerned right now. Denmark is saved. There we go. Denmark. Well, I mean, Denmark's not safe. But, you know, they're, they're no longer under threat. An NG Poland vacation in Rome in summer of 1940. It would be nice if we could get to Rome. It would be lovely, I think. Good time of year. More guns. More guns. More guns for everyone. Dockyards. Make us just some more, I guess, submarines. We'll just have tons of submarines. <laughs> we'll just have tons of submarines. Soviet Union, send me more oil. See, all we need is the Soviet Union. They provide everything. The Soviet Union provides for us. Lenin is more the hero of World War I and interwar um, period. I mean, we're covering this war right now in World War II that we have now made happen. Look at this. It's a lovely sight to see Hitler being pushed back. Can we get to Munich? If we can just get to Munich, I'll be very happy. Now, all these men can now push down south because they went north. Now they can kind of use their strength and push down. Let's see. Any signs of weakness that we could exploit? A bit too many men around there. Okay, this guy, this guy, I want you to just go around behind them. Just go around behind them. Just make a path through. Go take Nuremberg, you know? That'd be nice to see. Keep going. You go and trap them. Don't let them expect it. Oh, no, we're trapped. Quickly, save them. Someone save them. Everyone attack. Okay, there we go. We're saved. Okay, that was close. Uh, we have resistance to occupation, of course, in here. Well, how about we send these guys up here? And they can go kind of deal with the situation. We can uh, garrison them, can't we? Yeah, garrison the area. Okay, we'll do that. They probably do have some military officers, hopefully. Um, they should have some military police. Down here's kind of got to a standstill, it feels like. 
Nothing's going on. Literally nothing's happening. Why? Okay, well, the, the south is going to stop. Yugos is Yugoslavia not at war with us? Nope, nope, they are at war with us. Just making sure. I was pretty sure, but that surprised me. We saved Romania, basically. You know, Romania has been saved. I like I like our border as well. Our border looks very nice. I want to get Lithuania. Lithuania, you're mine. <laughs> you got four to eight regiments. We need to take that. We want the Polish Commonwealth. That's what we want. That was our goal, wasn't it? That's what we wanted to get. Um, let's do it. Let's uh, get a war goal. Stage a coup? Nope. We're just going to make a war goal on them. I'm sorry, Lithuania. You might join the Allies, though, which would be kind of uh, worrying. That would end to an endless war, probably. Annexation is our destination. Yes, it is. Battle results. Okay, unassigned divisions. Go join them. You'll be the division that probably go take Lithuania when we can. And can you... Oh, not fall back. Garrison. Is it just that area? I know, so they're fine now, not the men are here. Um, Non-aggression pact with Romania. Well, Romania doesn't exist right now, but... It would decline. We don't know, maybe. British Raj? Uh, would decline. I don't know. Why would I need to make peace with you? Why do I need a non-aggression pact? Who knows what will happen? Who knows what today's friends will be tomorrow's enemies, you know? We've got to be careful. Got to be careful. Poland has risen high through communism. Don't open another front until beating the Nazis is a sure thing. Yeah, but I want Lithuania. <laughs> I mean, look, it's starting to it's starting to slow down now. Yeah, it's really starting to slow down now. I think they've uh, brought a lot more men. I think this is probably like Italy and Spain are bringing a lot more men now. That's probably what's happened here. We seem to be slowing down. Look, hear the sound of those guns. Like... Got to go. We'll catch the rest of the stream on YouTube. Thank you so much for joining, J Street. Hopefully you'll be here another time. What what just happened there? What just happened there? Look at this. They just completely broke through. Okay, go take them down. Oh no, look, they're all weakened. Get rid of that guy. Get rid of him. He's weak. Cut these guys off. Kill them. Kill them all. Damn it, they found a way through. Is this the German comeback? Has Hitler finally found a way through? We've only... We've not got that far from Berlin, actually, have we? We haven't got that far from Berlin. I'm actually getting kind of worried now. Hitler seems to be making, actually, a, a comeback here. Who would have thought? Don't you push through. Um... Slick UK, thank you so much for following. Welcome aboard. Okay, we. Oh, are you kidding me? Someone does not have that done. Um, you. Okay, get your front line sorted. Wait, no. This guy, get your front line sorted. I hate when that happens. There we go. Get that front line sorted. Someone's got to defend this. Don't let them keep pushing through. We're making silly mistakes now. We were doing well. And now we're just making silly, silly mistakes. And why don't you just cut through there? Message from Australia. They've cancelled the Lend Lease. Okay, that's fine. Cut that tank off. Don't let it get any more stuff. And we're completely stopped. Look at that Spain down here. Ah, it's, it's actually starting to turn against us, I feel like. Soviets, give me more steel. more All the steel that you can have. We want all of it. It's starting to turn against us. This is why we... Gotta... Germany is halfway to giving up. They lost 1.5 million men. But we need more as well. How's our recruitment going? Okay, delete you. We're not making enough guns and stuff. We just need to keep giving new guns to people. Um, also this one. Anything else we can do? Uh, war support is always as high as it can be, so we don't need to do anything with that. Press censorship. Uh, industrial land appropriation. Don't think we need that either. Okay. We're fine then. Yeah, overall we're fine. The Soviet Union's bringing more men. <laughs> the Soviet Union's bringing more men over. Oh no. They're cutting us off. But we can get that. Come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. You stupid people. 
Horsey, horsey. No, 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 that, not that way. You're stuck now. You stupid idiots. Okay, cut that damn tank off. Okay, we're now getting in trouble. Shinji, thank you so much for following. We need to find a way. I'm trying to think what we could do here. Because this is really starting to turn against us, and I don't know why. But they've opened up up here. What are they doing? They've given us a chance, an opportunity. This one guy could kill this guy easily. Let's go. Go, my horsey, go. They're going to open themselves up to take Hanover. Take Hanover right now. Take this and go support this guy. There we go. Support him. Help him take that. You take Hanover. Oh, no. That guy's trapped. No. Um, this is all going completely wrong. How did this happen? Things are so bright and lovely. Damn these tanks. These tanks are just crushing us right now. We didn't have anything to fight the tanks. In a faction with Soviets? Yes, we are. Berlin's been lost. Yet they took Berlin back as well. Damn them! It's going so well. We've lost more men. What? I've not been keeping an eye on things, have I? That's the problem. That's it. Push through. Go. Just try and do it. Try to make this happen. I didn't activate you. That's why we've not been fighting down there. That's why. Okay. No, no, no. How did this all turn against us? It was going so well. Okay. We're just not making the amount of stuff. No, 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 game, game, no. We lost the moment you married that woman. What woman? Slow the speed for details. I guess I should, maybe. Maybe that was my fault. Vladislav Gomulka questions Lithuania's sovereignty. Oh, yeah, we're questioning Lithuania. Go cut them off. Cut these damn people off. Okay, this is quite bad, actually. Warsaw is far away, but we're going to lose so many gains that we've made. Possibly through this. You cross through. Just go around behind them. Go around behind them. Da, 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 da. It's not looking good. And why is this split up again? And why is it always split up? This is starting to annoy me. Okay, I wish the front line would actually, like keep somewhere like stable kind of annoying when it does that you go there okay there we go done uh we have to take care of research and construction recently um researching we've done lots of research and construction at the very beginning that's the first things we did that's not the first things we did but we're losing we're just losing so many guns i guess uh split off some troops to protect the shore from naval invasion uh, that's maybe a good point. We might be, should be worried about naval invasion. I think we'll be fine, though, possibly. We got lots of tanks. Okay, we haven't got enough things there for them. Oh, wow. We don't have any factories for this. We just lost a ton of factories, yeah. Okay, so you're going to have to have some less factories, apparently. I'm going to have some more of these. Well, there we go. We'll have to go with that. Um... Insufficient stuff. United Kingdom was giving us rubber, but they can no longer do it. British Malay then. Get it from them. We'll cancel this. Send. How are we doing with stuff, actually? Do we need this? We actually need one. So let's go down on oil. Do we need this much steel? No, we do not. We need a lot less steel nowadays, apparently. Okay, there we go. Oh, we never signed plans. Okay, we, we've, we've kind of... Connected it back up. This could be our. This could be the chance to save the day. We took Hanover. Berlin was Berlin. Berlin was taken back. Damn you, Hitler! We've lost a few men along the way. Yeah, maybe like three men, four men. We could lose another man here. A couple of men here. That's a. Few, that's a lot of our men actually right there. Stalin, what have you done? Have you just? What did you do? Look at all these men. Stalin, why? What's going on? Are we dead yet? No, we're not dead yet. We're going to fight on forever. It never ends. Never ends. Fight them. Kill that tank. They're starting to protect themselves now. Okay. 
Berlin's going to be hard to take now. Because we, we were on the front foot. The Soviet backstabbing. I mean, I wouldn't say they're backstabbing us, but they're not... They're kind of holding back. They seem, seem to have... Look at this. Look, look at their people. I think they're all new, maybe. That's why. Uh, we've got some more guns coming in. Down here is not really going well either. New Zealand cancelled their stuff, but they sent us more stuff. Yeah. It's going well here, though. Republic of Turkey joined the Allies. So we now have a Republic of Turkey. Okay, Democratic Place of Turkey. They've joined the Allies. Hopefully now... I mean, they can't actually attack, can they? They, um, they can't get through Greece and Bulgaria. But they could come and support. We need the Netherlands and Belgium to go to war with Germany so the Allies can land in Netherlands and uh, Belgium. That'd be great for us. The Polish front. Let the Soviets deal with Yugoslavia. But if we can push through from here, it would be so good. Ah, it would have worked out so well because we could push it up and crush them beneath us. That was how I wanted things to go. It's gone. All, it's totally gone out of my plans now. Decus is now following. It's going so against us. It's so horrible. How did things turn out like this? It looked like we were unstoppable for a bit. Like, it actually looked like we were unstoppable for quite a bit. <laughs> and now it's gone completely wrong. Eight divisions? What? Why only eight divisions? Because the others are trapped in there, probably. Yeah. We've got tanks up here we might want to use, actually. I think what else we could do. It's probably because Stalin said one rifle and magazine per four or five men instead of two. Damn him, being such a cheapskate. Ruining my plans. Okay, this guy we could kill. Good, they're actually going down. Good to see he's actually doing that. Ah, <coughs> ah sorry about that. Go on, go south, come on. Cut that one man off, kill that one man. Our men are holding off just there. They're managing to hold off. We've got Hamburg for now, but for how long? Okay, we're pushing along up here. Um, Turkey wants to send me stuff to help. Thank you very much, Turkey. Belgium has joined the Allies. Yes, the German Reich declared war on Belgium. So Hitler could see that maybe he was turning the tide against us and the Soviet Union. And so he's declared war on Belgium, which has now joined the Allies. It gives Britain a place to land and hopefully fight from. Because Britannia rules the waves. Okay. I'm coming back here. We just need to cross this river. Once we get across this river, I'll be happy. Yeah, I'll be happy once we've done that. And we're actually pushing along here, so that's good. Okay, maybe we're making a comeback. I feel like we're starting to make a comeback here. We lost a few men, though, along the way. But hopefully the Belgian War is going to add a bit more of chaos to it. You can see France being freed there. Luxembourg is back. Yeah, I think we're actually turning the tides right now. Warsaw Main Railway Station. Hitler, as usual, you know. Hitler, as usual, just trying to fight too many wars at the same time. Civilian factory could be good. Let's go for civilian factories. But yeah, okay, we're kind of where we were before. We just don't have, we just don't have this land. We were like going through there before, so we've been cut back a bit, but no, our Polish troops, our people. Ugh. The Netherlands has joined the Allies. The German Reich has declared war on the Netherlands. Of course they did. He's lost a lot of men. He needs more men. Maybe we should send this guy to go join him. You go join them. You just leave this place. Go down there. We have to go help. We need troops. We need men. Foot on the soil. You know, that type of thing. These oh, Another man's been trapped. 20 divisions. How many down here? 11. That's not how many it should be. It should be more. I might have to change that in a second. We've almost got enough. Not enough equipment, just. How's the production coming? 24,000 guns still needed. Oh, there's so many guns we need to make. It's insane. But we've not been getting any new troops recently. We've just been losing troops. And again, Germany's also been losing troops, I would think. They must have lost some. There were 45 to 89 regiments, actually. Hitler's lost quite a lot of troops. It's really Italy, and I think, and Spain. Spain joining the war, I think, made a really big difference. Because they've got, you know, 29 to 58. That's, that's a lot of men added on to what they already have. And Italy, I think, have a loads of men. 
Yeah, look at that. 50, 74 to 150, possibly. They have a ton of men right now. But we're making our way back. We just can't take Berlin. We don't want to, don't let these guys get cut off again. Okay. Guys, armies. Don't let this happen again. Look at all these Italians. Italians everywhere. Mussolini, you. Bad man. Okay, we've got it there. Good. We've got another one down here. I can see a little opening which we're pushing through. Good job. Go Soviet. Yep, you are going there. Just making sure. 83 is on there, so that's good. 90 here. Good to see. Great, great, great. Down here. We're finally... Yes, we're finally pushing through down here as well. Look at that. And the factories. More factories. Yes, we've got all those new factories. Just get guns. Get guns for our men. We're pushing through once again. Berlin has fallen again. Berlin has fallen for the second time. How is your air force? Our air force is terrible. I'm probably going to guess they're all dead. Oh, no, wait. There's still some alive. <laughs> there's still some alive. Uh, they're a bit far away. I could send more, I guess, over. Might be a good idea. Four. We've got four there. I could send some... I Maybe, yeah, maybe because we're outside our air force right now. Maybe that's affected it. How about we send all these men over to that one? Yeah, how about we send all these planes? Uh, we'll send like 200 over. Let's send them over. Let's send like 200 airships over. Maybe the fighters not being there has affected it slightly. But we're starting to win. I can see it. We're making comebacks now. That war. Look at this. And the Netherlands. Belgium, the French Commune is back. The Allies are pushing back in the West. I knew it. I said we needed them to go to war, didn't I? I said we needed to see that. And that's just what we're seeing right now. But good to know. And we need more steel, of course. Um, Mr. Stalin, thank you so much. Always can trust him. Phew. Okay, so we're starting to make a comeback again. <laughs> just want to get Yugoslavia to capitulate. And it's just the three main big fascists. Just need to take care of them. And uh, if we can take care of Germany, I think we can take care of them. Though Italy will be difficult. Uh, D-Day is coming early here. Well, it wasn't really a D-Day. They just landed on Amsterdam and Brussels, so they could attack from there. It was not really like that at all. Done. Just more and more guns. Uh, we've got 300,000. Polish people's Republic is now advancing. Hungary is still neutral. You should remember poetic favorite words. Smash. Yes, you are correct. I'm hoping we can do... I'm not sure if we'll be able to finish this by the end of the stream. We might not be able to finish this war. But I'm going to try. Now, I'm a bit worried about this bit here. It's like a little bit of a gap. But maybe we can kind of crush them between us. Can't find a way through just yet. Uh, they kind of meet around there, I'm guessing. So we're still doing okay. 17 divisions. Let's make sure it's this one. I want to make sure it's him. Front line. Yeah, that's him. Okay. So this guy, I'm going to ask all your men to continue on this. That's Is that... Okay, that's the front line thing. Let's click off. Click off it. Okay, click off it. Then we click back on. Okay, then this. There we go. All 17 are on that now. Let's make sure. Uh, seven divisions. That's not correct. You should have more on there. Luxembourg has capitulated once again. These are dark times. There we go. All 20 divisions are back on that. Uh, Republic of Turkey wants to come through our territory. We accept. Uh, Belgium. Yep. You can all walk through. It's fine. 24 divisions. They're going through. Great. Yep. That's how I want to see it. Yep. 84. They're attacking us, but we're defending strong. We need to get the Munich. If we can get the Munich, we can end this whole charade. This whole shebang. But, could we break, let's, let's take Hanover from the other side. Let's see if we can break through here. We seem to be breaking through, look at we got a breakthrough now. They don't know what to do, the Soviets are just running. <laughs> he, just, he just ran all the way over here, almost to Frankfurt on his own. We'll take this, we'll try and trap these men inside. Maybe if we can kill this guy. We'll take Hanover, let's attack this guy. I was about to attack with that guy helping, but... Okay, you stay behind. That's not going to work, is it? We need to get rid of that group. 
But we've come through here. We've made a breakthrough. Things are going our way. Check that pocket. The moment they set their sights east, they were lost. But the Polish people's determination and wavering courage would prove too much for the Nazi scum. Of course. But we need... Oh, he's moving out. Go, go, go. Quickly, get out. Get out. 20 hours. Go, go, go. Get out of there. Then I'll, I'll move in. Yes, hold them off. Go, 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 go. Yep, yeah, there we go. Okay, you crush. You go in. Go, go, go. <laughs> you go in. Get that. Uh, get more men here. we got lots more. More and more factories. Okay, more stuff from Stalin. Thank you for the steel, Stalin. Uh, what are the casualties like? We haven't looked at that in a while. Uh, we've lost 700,000 men. Um, Germany has lost 1.6 million. Um, they've killed a lot of our men. We've lost a lot of men during this fight, but it's been for, you know, us. We've lost a lot of men, but it's been worth it. We are winning. We've got a lot of manpower still, and we can try and get more once our political power goes up. Uh, we've lost less than the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union's lost 700,000, so that's good. Italy's lost only 500,000, though. Yeah. UK has lost 500,000. So overall, I think we're not doing too bad. Um, deaths 1.4, they've lost 2.4. So overall, we are we are doing better when it comes to that. Yeah, so check up this again. Um, go get that quickly. Go, go, go. Go, 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 my man. Cut them off. Cut them off. Don't let them save themselves. Let them die. Let them die and starve to death. Go scum. You attack that one because they're weak. They're weak. There we go. Okay, we got them. We got them when we want them. Hopefully, that'll be fine. And the Allies lost the most people. Um, but they're taking it back. Paris is coming back. They found Paris once again. What does North Africa look like? North Africa, Italy basically control Egypt. United Kingdom has basically taken Ethiopia. And French Commune has defeated Vichy France. So the, the fascist France is no longer in power. United it's only 1940, actually. It's not that far in. Uh, the president of America is Alf Landon. And Communist China has been defeated because they took on two enemies at once. Uh, Japan still cannot defeat... Uh, no, Communist Japan cannot defeat normal Japan right now. Uh, they've been at war since the very beginning. And other than that, it's kind of just normal. Uh, France being beaten out of the Middle East here. The Republic of Turkey is on the Allies' side as well. That's something to keep in mind. We've been pushed back here, though. Not liking that at all. What's going on down here? We're getting, we're getting pushed back here. This is not good. But the north is going well. How about then? Who's the north? This guy is the north. You do a force attack. Go. Does anyone need an upgrade? No one has any upgrades. Okay, that's fine. Just force it. Push, push, push our men. Just force the attack. Push as many back as you can. They'll go through there, but it's fine. We, can't, we push through quite a bit. And it's trapped these guys in here. So these guys will probably die, hopefully, thanks to that move. We killed even more German soldiers. Munich has to fall. And with the allies in France, they can save France. Hopefully they can attack Italy and nationally. They can cut off nationalist Spain. That's it. That's it. Look at that People's Republic of Poland. It's a lovely place. But this one's the problem. Unless we push them back. Now we pushed it back a bit. It's not looking great. They're, we can't push through anymore. Uh, more factories, though, for more guns. We just can't keep up with the guns. We just keep using all our guns. Give me more steel, Soviet Union. Give me all that steel. Okay, that's down. They're defending. Push there, push there. Okay, they attacked us there, but they're going to be weak now, so we can do a counter-attack from there. There we go. That's perfect. They, they, glad to see the AI actually did that. I was about to tell the AI to do that. They just did it by itself. There we go. These guys are just, you know, fish in a barrel. Almost got the Munich. We've also got, of course, up here, Hessen, uh, Frankfurt. If we can cut them off here, if we can get to there, that'd be great. Okay, things are going mostly as planned. We've got a group here. Can we cut them off? No, we can't kind of cut through yet. Damn these Italians. The Italians, I think, are the really ones that are doing this. They're the ones making this so difficult. Xinjiang has joined the common turn. So we have an ally in China. Xinjiang, join us. 
Join us. Call to arms. This is the biggest war ever. This is the biggest war ever, Sinkiang. You gotta join us. Then we'll help you in China. If you help us, I will help you in China. I promise. And let's just march forward. Look at this. We called them in. Sinkiang will come join. We'll get the Polish troops coming to Europe. Yes, this has gone completely to plan up north. Yep, that's what I wanted. Down south, not so much, but as long as they hold on, Yugoslavia can wait. Connect with Dutch. Welcome to the winning team, Sinkiang. Don't miss out on the fun. Yeah, they just wanted part of it, didn't they? Okay, we've now met with the Netherlands. The Allies are now here. We've all met together. And so Frankfurt, I think, won't be long till it falls. It actually wouldn't surprise me. The question is, though, can we get to Munich? Because they're holding off here. They're being very stubborn about this. Can, can you move there? Why don't you just move there? There's a, a, a complete gap open right there, which you could take. Um, this Okay, we've actually got down here now. I didn't realize we actually managed to push down to here. Ooh, there we go. 